I get up <coughs> back again. <coughs> I was going to ask a few, uh, answer a few questions that uh, were put forward to me, and uh, look at the padlock uh, after. Um, I'm trying to remember what the order. Yeah, rookie lock uh, the for that mortise for your display board. Um, I know you're a perfectionist, but it's approximately 71 mil, 70 mil from the center of the oval to the center of the spindle. Um, using the same back 60 mil back set, so 70 mil mate from the center of the oval to the center of the spindle. Okay, that should be quite sufficient to, for your spindle. Um, with the screws, is not a problem, mate. I'll send them out with the uh, spindle and spindle springs. Okay. Uh, Gary Romain used to ask about um, the Avis padlock suitable for a 234. Unfortunately, no. Um, this is a 234 shackle. Uh, the 234 is a bit thicker in diameter than the Avis, and the Avis doesn't have that um, end lip to contain the uh, shackle pin. So, yeah, it won't work. Um, Keyless entry, uh, he's wondering, asked about the uh, what grit I use for my sander. 180 does me, mate, for Lockwoods. It keeps the grain. Um, uh, the grain, you know, fine for that uh, brass. But 180, you can go a bit higher, a little bit higher, not too much though. Otherwise, you start end up polishing it, and it looks like it's been brass owed. So, 180, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't go any less than that because it's going to be too rough and coarse. So, yeah, um, yeah, I've got some uh, shackles in too, mate. Stainless steel 230 or 2034 shackles for you, and I've got some channels locks too to torment you. So, I'll post them tomorrow or Friday. But you'll give them before the end of next week, mate. Um, yeah, Gary, thanks, Gary, for those pins. I've got those pins, but unfortunately, I didn't realise Starry Lock has actually he's acquired a, a kit, uh, some old vintage Lockwood pins in a kit. I think he bought that kit that was on the flea bay down here, I think. So, yeah, but I'll still add those six of each of those sizes you've given me, and I'll put them in the little packs until I get the full kit. And I might send it to, uh, I don't know, Bill Bacardi. I think he's got some Lockwoods there. Might want to play with them or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so that was it. Um, I got some padlocks from William Mansell. Uh, this is one of them. It's an old Yale, in the 40s. Uh, and I was looking interested in what the, I think that stamping has a blind code, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe King Street Rob might obviously more familiar with the American type applications or Murdoch or um, William Mansell or Doug, you yeah, know, there's quite a few out there, no more than I do. But it's got GB stamped, and according to, well, in the latest 109 hard hard copy uh, profile book for Silka, uh, the GB potentially stands for Great Britain because they've got a section of uh, DE, like Delta Echo, assuming Denmark, I could be wrong. GB, Great Britain, and US, United States. But the funny thing is, the GB is actually a, is a um, is a series for EL. Well, um, this is my old book, by the way. Um, so I found the key or oh, the profile I needed. Uh, this is a six pinner. Um, this is a five pinner. Where are you? Okay. Oh, you can't slightly see it. Anyway, this is the five pinner. It's got the GB, which is a GYB, which is the same profile. That's the profile. So that's the five pinners of GYB or Silka GYB. Hence the GB there. And But the blank I need is a six pinner, which is a GB or GYB six, which is exactly the same profile. So I've actually ordered some of those in. Um, from Melbourne, for those uh, six pen Yale silver to suit that padlock. Um, you did, William did mention that um, if you look carefully, you can see a lot of shadow. Um, see the shadow there? There's actually a chamber cap strip, which can be, you know, see the, see the shadow? You can see it, uh, which can be sort of peeled back from in here and sort of taken off and to re and 
place it, peel it back on and linish it. But I don't want to linish this one. It's, um, I don't know, I think it's going to spoil its character. So what I'll do, I'll, just, I'll impression the key for this one, not a problem. So save me taking it apart. I'll keep it as it is. So, so anyway, that's the story of that one. Uh, Gary asked me if I was going to <coughs> linish the uh, Ilko that uh, William sent me to, which I made the key for. That's the one with the sludge key, actually. I did do that. Um, do I regret it? Yeah, possibly. Uh, um, anyway, I did do it. And uh, it's all fresh now. All back to the original brass. Uh, I did the top as well. Get the contours. Uh, I've got to go a bit more. I want to get that uh, fresh brass on the lettering as well. So I've got to go a bit deeper, which is no problem. What I did do wrong, or yeah, it's like a learning curve. I used the pin punch, but the pin punch has got a it's got a diamond end. And what I've done, I put a divot in the body pin, which I can't get out. And I can get it out, but I'm gonna, it means I've got the lineage too far down, so I'm going to leave that. I should have used a flat tip center punch, but live and learn. So yeah, I'll just take that back too, and uh, same again. It's a bloody divot in it. So yeah, the reason I'm always a bit concerned about it because inside there obviously it's got a mottled finish and it doesn't look right with the fresh brass. But that's how it would have come out in the factory, surely, like that. But maybe that wasn't the yellow, that's just patina over the age I think. But this will come back to its patina again to look good. So I'm part, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, it works fine so yes yeah, so that's the story of that one uh one more two for a go this one's for um she i think it's craig mayer i'm shocking my name shocking memory he, he left a message or a comment on, my, on one of my videos regarding the uh, projection um, lever locked sets um the information you give me was yeah that is the the, your key is that one. That's a 45 mil from the inside of the where it meets the inside of the head to the tips 45 and it is 7.5. So that's it. Um, and it's got the nozzle cut there because of the it's got the 7 8 projection nozzle there, which would that cut out is only there for one reason. So the key turns. Obviously, if it wasn't cut, you wouldn't turn it. That's all it does. It just makes the key turn in the nozzle. And the half inch nozzle is obviously uh, is a smaller key blank, which would do the uh, half inch nozzle. And again, the nozzle cut would be different. But um, yeah, I've got that code there, mate. I, what I'm going to do, um, what I'll do, I'll give you. I'll, you can, I'll give you some information, mate. You can read this, but uh, if you need a key cut, I can probably do it. I think I've got a, a thin enough wheel, a uh, flat uh, cutter for those cuts, because they're pretty fine, as you can imagine, yeah. So I think I've got a cutter, but I'll, yeah. Um, yeah, I've got your code, that's not a problem, mate. I've got all the code cuts. Uh, I can't remember which, uh, which one it was, actually. H something I was, H. Ah, he'll let me know. But I've got the codes. There's some information for you, mate. I'll just pass it. You can freeze frame it. Bit of information on uh, Lockwood Lever code series, okay? And uh, you can have a read. Or for anyone, actually. Bit of a little bit of history there. Uh, so I'll go through them. That's one. This one, I'm not going to, just not going to show the bottom because it's got the uh, master kit in cutting, which you don't need to know. Uh, but anyway, this is the next page, by the way. Uh, so I'll just bring it up. You can stop it at your own leisure and read it. Okay. So, and one more there too at the back.
which might help you out, mate. So what you need, obviously, is the, the blank, which I can get from LF. Lowe and Fletcher make these blanks. That's old school, that's from the 90s. I used to have a longer ones, the 45mm, but I've used them all. But I've got a shitload of these ones. Uh, but I can get these L and F blanks. And, uh, yeah, I can cut them to code. Yeah, just let me know how you go, mate. And uh, But if you want a key, I can probably, pretty common, I can cut one for you. As long as the code's correct. There's no guarantee with codes, by the way. They never guarantee codes. Uh, but anyway, that'll do. Until next time. Uh, I think that's it, yeah. Until next time, take care. And uh, yeah, goodbye.